Hey, what's up, everyone? Back again with another This Week in Gears. This is for the week of March 9th to the 15th. This is the first This Week in Gears post since Operation 6 launch. So there really isn't a whole lot of goodies to dive into, but as usual, I'm going to hit the highlights for you, touch on the events, touch on the new and featured store, as well as updates to the eSports, Gears Glory, and more. So, And as I've said before, if you're enjoying the content, consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you get notified when new videos go live, and let's jump into it. So we already know that the events are sticking around for another week. They said that in last week that Control and Escape from Kadar are sticking around for two weeks, so they'll be available for next week. Definitely want to get some feedback. I know TC Kilo had said on on his Twitter account and on the forums, he had posted uh, asking for people's feedback and your impressions on the two modes. So definitely get on there, whether you're on Twitter, the forums, or both. So you can make a longer post on the forums to give your impressions, feedback, what you would like to see, what you think of the events. And and I ask that too. What do you guys think of the events? Definitely leave a comment down below if you really like in control, if you're liking Escape from Kadar. Honestly, I, I've played a few matches of control. I, I've I've enjoyed it, you know. Uh, I've only played it a couple of times, but it was real fun. I like the changes to the respawn timer. Uh, w when it's a full 4v4 match, it can be a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, when it's 4v4, the, I've had both instances where it was 4-on-3, 4-on-2. People did join later, but it made the match kind of lopsided both ways, depending on uh, who had the two people. But it just kind of is what it is. But having fun with it. In terms of Escape from Kadar, I like it. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's made for some pretty funny moments with teammates. But uh, the biggest thing is I feel like it's undermined by not being available in custom matches. I feel that having total control over the match really would go a long way just because I've had numerous instances where teammates quit. You know, they nobody deposits, nobody's playing together. They kind of run around, then they get grabbed by a sire and killed immediately. So they back out. Then next thing you know, somebody else backs out. Then you only got three players left, so the other people back out. Then I'm by myself. And this happened on more than one occasion. It's really frustrating. So I wish it was available in private matches. I also wish the rewards were better. Now, I know it has its own metal group, and you get a PvP skin for it. But I wish the rewards, like, it gave more cards. Because as of now, it only gives two cards. This was issue with predator hunt and boss rush i feel is that these should award more cards these are an event based mode it should have something to incentivize you to play it you need some incentive to, to play this uh, versus just the medals because once you're done with the medals what really i mean outside of just playing it for fun what what is it and then with fun fun is kind of undermined by People quitting, people not playing together, and then once everybody's done with the medals, they're probably not going to play it anymore. Just kind of is what it is, but I, I don't know. You tell me what you think. I, I feel like they should integrate some weekly rewards for the events to to give more cards. Like maybe if you beat it on a higher difficulty, you get some guaranteed legendary drops. You beat it on advanced, you get like six extra cards or something like that. Just something to incentivize you to play. Give you some incentive to play that versus playing or regular frenzy, or even doing the daily. I, I, I feel like there should be more incentive to play it. Uh, but another thing I want to hit on, they, they actually started the blog post with this, was the issue with, the, with Boost, with the tour objectives. They talked about how, you know, last week, and they're using it a Wednesday or Thursday, that uh, Boost wasn't rewarding double stars for your daily objectives and this actually went through an entire reset before it was fixed it was fixed but some people lost their boosted stars so now tc said that they're going to give you three days of boost so if you don't have boost you're going to get three days of boost tomorrow when the daily when the uh, weekly store resets if you already have boost if you bought the bundle you have 30 days or 20 five, 24 days, whatever's left, you're going to get three additional days tacked on to it. So it uh, should help. I, I think that's a fair compensation considering, you know, we lost a day. They give us uh, lost 24 hours or so. They give us three extra days. So they give you a little bit of extra compensation to kind of get through your, tour, your objectives and complete the tour. So I already touched on the events. As I said, they're both sticking around. We'll jump into the store. Here's your new store, Collector's Major Paddock, Medieval Full Set, LFG Expression, and the Fallen Soldier's Blood Spray. Obviously all av available for iron. This should mean that the characters that were released last week 
uh, Hoffman, Reyna, and Zealot will be available for Gears Coins. So if you didn't buy the bundle, you haven't unlocked them in the tour, you should get their base skin through the store for coins. They should be available, I believe, for 2,000 coins apiece. So there's your new store. We'll jump into the feature store. You have Zombie Benjamin, Collector's Shrock, Windflare Legacy Set, which I'm probably definitely going to snag, and then the STFU Blood Spray, which... Let me just take a wild guess that you're going to be seeing this a lot when you get killed in Versus. I, just a hunch, but uh, definitely see that. So let me know what you're going to pick up from the new. If you're going to pick up Paddock, if you're going to pick up Shrock, if you haven't already. Uh, the Windflare Legacy set thinks going to be a pickup for me. Uh, another thing they touched on was the eSports. wanted to hit on this is that they've updated the prices for the eSport organizational bundles uh, from $14.99 to $9.99. And then the loadout sets are going to be dropped from $9.99 to $7.99. And they're actually removing the blood spray within these, which I assume that incorporates the drop in price. So you see these for the Team Rebel, Rated R, Elevate, High, Fire and Ice, and, the, and Rise Nation, as you see all of those listed there. And they talked about the some more skins that are getting put in the central store i'm not really going to go through all of those most of them are from operation 5 such as ty the gears tactics characters the lambic characters dizzy anya all those are going to be in there some banners some marks going to be in your essential store from operation 5 and they say that they they will stay in the game permanently and can be purchased at any time just just wanted to clarify that. So there's a big list there if you want to check that out on the post. Uh, the last thing I wanted to hit on was Gears Glory. This is International Women's History Month, and that's going to be the theme. So they're going to have these streams on the on the Gears of War platform. So they're going to have one Wednesday and Friday, and then Saturday they're going to have the International Women's History Month esports tournament. They list the times here. These are all specific time at noon specific time. So depending on your time in your time zone definitely check in check those out show some support throw some love out there for that uh should be some fun definitely check those out this week like i said it'll be on wednesday friday and saturday so that's really it that's all there is in the blog post for this week not really a whole lot uh as i said the event sticking around but next week should be getting fired up for some new events definitely interested to see if there will be a new horde event uh, they got plenty of versus events in the wheelhouse. Curious if they'll have something kind of new or if they'll bring something like Escalation, Gridiron, something like that, or if they'll go with the traditional OSOC or Nasher's FFA, Nasher's King of the Hill. So we'll see. So that's really going to. That's really all I got for you guys. That's going to do it for me this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, drop a like if you think I've earned it. And uh, we will talk to you next week. See you.